Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a heartbroken energy. This is emotional pain, distress. This is feeling like someone disappointed you or uh, was careless with your heart. Someone, something or someone could have came in between you and someone you loved. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, the Emperor, Aries Energy and the ace of pentacles earth energy so it does look like there was some sort of disappointment here but it doesn't look like anyone's leaving this connection the emperor is a quite a stubborn energy it's quite a uh, like it's someone who's not going to just give up on something easily it looks like you and someone could be working something out the ace of pentacles can even be an apology coming in and with the ace of swords there's this feeling of talking it out having a very honest blunt direct communication about the situation and trying to find a resolve for it so how to move forward um how to achieve some sort of a breakthrough so whoever you're dealing with really cares about you they are still committed to this and there's this feeling of wanting to work it out so let's clarify these cards Okay, so we have the Five of Wands, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this can be conflict. This can also be competition, something that came in between you guys. Or it can be like outside interference with that Three of Swords. It's like something came between you and this person. Um, but it can also just be you guys having had a chaotic situation like a fight or um, in incompatibilities that came to the surface. So let's see what the rest of the cards are doing. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, the Ten of Wands, Reverse, Fire Energy, and the Tower, Mars Energy. So yeah, it definitely looks like something came up here uh, and it could have created a Tower moment. And with the Ten of Wands, you know, it's like someone is ready to kind of bury the hatchet. They want to make peace. They want to, if they've been holding a grudge, they're ready to let that go. Uh, the Knight of Swords shows someone who really wants to fight for this. Like they're trying to avoid you walking away or this relationship ending um they want to make things right they want to clear the air this is someone who knows what they want and they want to fight for it um with the ten of wands they could also be perceiving you as having given up or being in the process of giving up and they they won't let that happen they they still want to keep trying for this connection okay so i'm going to pull out an article card for you uh taurus Okay, we have bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius okay so someone is still in love they want to work it out okay so i'm gonna put another card for you Okay, 
okay we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so it looks like someone really wants to explain themselves they they feel like something was misunderstood with the knight of swords they want to clear the air and with this card it's like they want to take things back to that honeymoon stage they want to go back to how things were before the tower moment how things were when there was love and things were good okay so i'm gonna put another card for you taurus So we have sacred lotus enlightenment no mud no lotus so someone is seeing this as like part of the trials and tribulations of love the ups and the downs and they still want to you know keep going they feel like this is something you guys can survive and that this connection is more resilient than that you know like you guys can survive this okay so i'm gonna put a card for your advice for us Okay, we have surrendered to your full power your life is calling for you to have to for you to step in to your full power rather than playing it small so there's definitely something here about taking your power back and um taking up space speaking up for your needs advocating for yourself okay so that's what i'm seeing for you taurus i hope you have a really really good day taurus bye taurus